It's the evening of February 1st, 2024. It's hard to believe we're already a month into this new year. So it's time for another monthly update video where I'll tell you about what went on in January and what we've got coming up in February. I always like to begin by highlighting three big things. And actually I had a huge selection of things. So I'm paring it down to just the three that I most want to put on your radar. So one of these is I just opened up enrollment tonight for my next online class. People are always saying, oh, I wanna take classes with you. This is your actual opportunity. It's a six week online class on stoicism and the cardinal virtues. I'll tell you about that in just a, a little bit. The second big thing has to do with worlds of speculative fiction, and we're doing something a little bit different this month. So I am doing uh, the session on James Kennedy's two novels, Dare to Know and Bride of the Tornado, and I was able to do an interview with him today. So there's gonna be some clips of there in that, and he is going to join us for the actual session. So first time that we have an author coming on and being part of Worlds of Speculative Fiction. Third big thing you may have seen or you may have already been sent, I now have a Substack newsletter, which I'll be using for other things like posting resources and putting notes, but I'm going to be doing a monthly newsletter. So if you've put yourself on the list for that years ago or a month ago, and you're like, where is it? It's now going out. So that's kind of a big thing for me. So let's now talk about January. January was a pretty busy month. Courses started both academic and in my study with Sadler Academy. I'm teaching two online courses from Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. One is a Religions of the World class. The other is Existentialist Philosophy and Literature. And I also started my 10-week online open enrollment for philo ancient philosophers on friendship. We actually had our second class session today, which went quite well. Um, I had a lot of events that I was participating in. I did my usual AMA, that's Ask Me Anything session, Worlds of Speculative Fiction. This month we did um, a session on the third and fourth books in Stephen Erickson's Malazan Book of the Fallen. A lot of people into that, including myself. We had another really cool um, heavy classic heavy metal class, and this time we brought a friend on board to talk about the new wave of British heavy metal. So Scott and I got to geek out with our friend Kenneth from Britain, who actually lived through that era. And then we had our Understanding Anger class as well. We focused on some more Greek tragedies, anger in Sophocles, uh, Ajax, and in Euripides, Medea. So that was a lot of fun. I also did quite a bit of volunteering at Almost Home Cat Rescue. I did a lot of writing here and there, some of it academic, some of it in my Medium blog. And I started that Substack newsletter. So if you're interested in that, you can see the link to all these things below. Uh, you click show more or video description and uh, you'll find the Substack if you want to get in on it. Uh, I'll be publishing a lot of things there in the coming months. I also did an interview with Everyday Stoic, and uh, that went quite well. And, and, you know, you can check out the link to that below as well. I did a lot of video work this last month, including publishing two interviews in the Ideas That Matter series, one with Helen DeCruz and the other with Usha Nathan, two uh, people who I, I like quite a bit. Uh, book reviews. I did a very positive book review on Darius uh, Kalawich's book on ancient uh, philosophy and early Christianity. And I did a rather, what would you call it? Not quite scathing, but certainly negative review of a book that was sent to me by St. Martin Press called The Essential Stoic. 
you can see the link to that below. It was so harsh that it actually got turned into a meme, which you can easily find, I think, just putting it into Google. I also did something kind of unusual. So years and years and years ago, I shot video of me playing banjo and singing in my old apartment in Fayetteville. So we're talking like 12, 13 years ago. So I dug up those old videos and I said, well, should I put these out there? I did a poll and people said, yeah, put them out there. Can't hurt. So I you know, fixed the sound a little bit, fixed the lighting as best as I could. And I put four of them out there. They're all me playing cover songs of Cracker, Johnny Cash, Motorhead, you know, things like that. And I did a lot of core concept videos. I finished up the series on Immanuel Kant's Prolegomena to Any Future Metaphysics, which, you know, happy to do so. I also did a lot of odds and ends things. I, I did one on Martin Luther King's Unfulfilled Hopes. I did one on Thomas Hobbes' Leviathan, one on William James' The Will to Believe, uh, certain Kierkegaard's The Present Age, one on Shest Love Shestov's All Things Are Possible, and uh, another one on Rilke's Letters to a Young Poet. And a lot of these were sort of things that were left behind from when I did series before, and I didn't get to all the videos. So I got a lot of those sort of things off my desktop, docket, whatever you want to call it. And then I did some videos on Seneca and letters that I hadn't gotten to before. Um, I also did a couple Sadler stories, one about a play that I acted in, actually wrote as a kid uh, about going in the army the very first day. Um, I did a quick takes um, on whether you need to study philosophy in a chronological manner, or whether, whether that's even really possible. And a lot of people enjoyed that. And then I did a lot of podcasting work as well. Um, I finished up Alistair McIntyre's How to Appear Virtuous Without Really Being So, which is a great piece. Uh, I did several on uh, Silke Machold and her fellow uh, writers on uh, feminist corporate governance. And then I did a one-off on uh, Jemison, N.K. Jemison's really great short story, Those Who Stay and Fight. And then I switched to Plato's Republic, did some uh, work on Republic Book 10 and the discussion of, you know, artists and, and artisans. And then I did a whole sequence on Aristotle's poetics. So that, that's what got accomplished in January. Uh, a lot of behind the scenes kind of work, uh, some of which you're going to see this coming month. So that's a great segue into talking about that. We've got a lot of really fun stuff coming up this month of February. Now, all the times that I'm going to give you are central time. So you might want to check your time zone so you're not showing up early or late or something like that if you're not in central time. We begin this weekend with the monthly AMA. That's Ask Me Anything uh, session where it's exactly that. People ask me questions about philosophy, about personal development, about what I think about politics, music, personal things, all sorts of interesting matters. We follow that up with a philosophy chat for my Patreon supporters, which is kind of a perk for them. If you're interested in that, you can easily see how to sign up for Patreon below. Uh, a week later on Saturday the 10th at noon, we'll be having the next Understanding Anger. And this time we're moving back from Greek tragedy into philosophy. Philosophy. We are going to be looking at the Epicureans and what they have to say about the emotion of anger, which actually turns out to be a good bit and is quite interesting. On the 14th, uh, that's a local event here in the greater Milwaukee area at the Frank Weinberg Library. We kick off the quarterly series, Philosophers in the Midst of History, uh, on, on the uh, 14th at 6 p.m. with a talk about Seneca and how he figures into history, the influence that he had, all sorts of other cool stuff about this great Stoic philosopher. On the 17th, uh, Scott Cerulli will be joining me again for Classic Metal Class, and this time we're going to be talking about 
uh, Japan and heavy metal. So we're going to be talking about Japanese bands from flower traveling band all the way into the 1980s. So bands like Loudness, for example. But we're also going to be talking about the phenomenon of being big in Japan and how Japan provided a context for so many bands to make enough money to stay afloat, to tour, to get some really, really great albums, live albums out there. So that's going to be a really fun session. Um, I will put some uh, stuff out later this month about how you can join us for that session and uh, participate if you'd like to. Um, on the 18th, I will be finally getting around to something that I didn't get to last month, and I know I promised to do that, which is another one of our, my you know, advice for self-directed study, Immanuel Kant, how to study him. So that'll be happening at 2 p.m. on the 18th. On the uh, 24th at 10 a.m., we will be kicking off our online class link to it is below, Stoicism and the Cardinal Virtues. It's a six-week class. I'll tell you a little bit about that in just a bit because I do want to finish this part up. On the 24th at noon, then we will have Worlds of Speculative Fiction where we're going to have some clips from James Kennedy talking about those two great novels. And after that, in the Zoom conversation, we will be joined by James Kennedy, and he said he's really looking forward to it. So let's not disappoint him, I suppose, right? So all of that's going on. Um, as I mentioned before, you know, I've got a Substack now. I'm going to be doing more writing in that and also writing on Medium as well. And I'm working on some academic pieces with some collaborators. Uh, I've got some other things that I'm doing helping to plan out events. I'm going to be helping Harold Kavli uh, in organizing the annual Stoicon this year. There's another conference that I'm also working on. And I'm on an uh, American Philosophical Association uh, committee for the mid for the Central Division 2025, which will be an online conference. So I'm helping out with that as well. Um, got my classes going on, so both in the Study with Sadler Academy and my academic classes. That keeps me pretty occupied, and it's fun to be in the virtual classroom. But I should tell you about this um, Stoicism and the Cardinal Virtues class. So. Starting, you know, at the end of, of February, if you want to understand what the Stoics actually mean by these four cardinal virtues, wisdom, justice, courage, temperance, there's a lot of Stoic texts, a lot of Stoic thinkers that talk about it. You've got to kind of piece the stuff together. I have been doing that for years in my classes, in my writings. I'm going to be leading students through that. So it's a really wonderful opportunity to get to uh, engage with some Stoic thinkers and texts and really wrap your head around this absolutely central doctrine within Stoicism that virtue is either the only good or it's one of the uh, major genuine goods. Depends on which Stoic you ask. So that'll be coming up soon as well. Uh, what else do we got going on? Video work. I got a lot of core concept videos to shoot. I mentioned I've started shooting some videos on Seneca. I've got more of those to put out and to shoot. I also have a commissioned video on Gilles Deleuze uh, and, and uh, Guitari anti Oedipus that I'm going to be putting out as well, having to do with the body without organs. Um, I've got a one-off on Dostoevsky's... Um, uh, Brothers Karamazov that I need to shoot once I actually get my hand on on the book that I've requested from the library. It's a particular translation I want. And I've got some uh, videos to shoot on Franz Fanon's uh, Black Skin, White Masks. And I've got some stuff to shoot on uh, Franz Kafka, both from the trial and from... Uh, the Metamorphosis. So I'm going to have a lot of stuff coming out on that. Um, I've got some more Sadler Stories videos that I want to shoot, you know, telling you about my, my life, my memories. I also found some old footage of a talk that I gave on the Christian philosophy debates back in 
2011 when my book just came out. And I put that together, fixed up the sound a bit as much as I could. And I'll be putting that out for the public to check out. You know, uh, you'll notice I look quite a bit different back then. Um, what else? Book reviews. I've got some more book reviews in the works. I've got some ideas that matter interviews. I'm doing quite a few of them this month and in the coming months. And those are really quite a lot of fun. I do have something that I'd kind of like to get your take on. So I have one more Greg plays the banjo and sings cover tunes video to put out. Should I keep doing them? Should I shoot some more of those with the songs that I particularly like? They're not going to be old timey or bluegrass stuff because that isn't what I play. I'm into, you know, a lot of rock artists and alternative and metal and pop songs and stuff like that. So, you know, do you want to hear the Scorpions on banjo or Motorhead or Duran Duran or The Cure or John Cougar Mellencamp or, you know, all these different other bands, more Cracker? If so, you know, I'm game to do that. I need to put in some practice, I think. So I don't know if I'll get that out this month if people want it. But we'll see, you know. <laughs> We'll see. Uh, podcast work. Um, I've got some uh, episodes on John Cassian that I've already released to my Patreon supporters. And, um, you know, those are going to be coming out quite soon. I've also got some uh, Sadler shorts. These are, you know, little things where I take a, a passage from a book and then, you know, give a little reflection about it that ties into your uh, daily life or, you know, our relationships or stuff like that. So I've got some of those down the line. And I've started work on editing podcast episodes on Philip K. Dick's Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep? One of my favorite Dick stories. Not the favorite. Actually, my favorite. A little bit of trivia here. Uh, used to be Man in the High Castle. It's, it's become... Uh, a scanner darkly, but it, you know, it could always change, right? So I've got that coming out as well. So a lot of stuff going on this month. Uh, we're lucky that it's a leap year and we get 29 days. Uh, it's still a short month. We'll see how much of this I can actually accomplish. Um, you know, sometimes I say I'm going to get more done than I actually do, but I get a lot of stuff done. So I hope you can join me for some of these online events. Think about enrolling in the uh, Stoicism and the Cardinal Virtues class. If you have any interest in that, it's going to be a great class. A lot of learning is going to be taking place. Every time that I teach, I, do, I really put a lot of work into it and people get a lot out of it. So um, yeah, see if you can join me. And if you're in the Milwaukee area, if you can make it to Philosophers in the Midst of History, come to it and uh, introduce yourself to me. I always like meeting people who are interested in philosophy. And uh, I'll just wrap up here. Hope that you have a great month ahead. And I will see you all somewhere in the interwebs.